Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. And once again, this is the one day chart. We're sitting here just above 50 cents. You know, no real price movement yet. We're still fluctuating in between that channel, between 50 and 55 cents. Every little, every once in a while, we dip below the 50 cent mark or we rise above the 55 cent mark. We're still waiting for XRP to take off. And I see more and more people becoming impatient all over X because there's no real price movement happening right now. So I'm going to start this video with my own post. While you're waiting to make some real money off your investment into utility cryptocurrencies like XRP, XLM, XDC, HBAR, ALGO, IOTA, QNT, Nexera, Casper, DAG, LCX, and I'm sure I still missed a few. The easiest way to stay patient is to start planning ways to not only take some profit, but how to then put the money to work for you. A lot of people like real estate. Other people say they're going to open a small to large business. And that's a great idea. Buy gold or silver or even a trust that pays monthly. This way you have a strong game plan so you no longer have to work for someone else. You will truly have financial freedom. That's what I was trying to say in yesterday's video about quitting your 9 to 5 and retiring off of your crypto. You need to have a game plan or you're going to be back here chasing the next cycle. And you know, I always said a great investment is a turnkey investment like a laundromat or a car wash. You only have to put in maybe an hour or two a day. So it opens up the rest of your time to do the things you want to do. Or you don't sell your crypto at all and you earn passive income from your crypto. We're starting to see more and more of those options as well. But this is the time that you put a game plan together. While crypto's not moving, you think about all the aspects and how much money it's going to take to maybe open a small business or get started in real estate. And that way you also stay patient because you know what you're working towards. It gives you a great game plan moving forward. Why cryptocurrencies will continue to go mainstream. Report on how the transition to T plus one settlement in U.S. and Canada will be a major theme of 2024. Then immediately after states that crypto takes off as more traditional FX markets will use crypto in 2024. This comes from smoke. I think that's going to be the beginning where we start to see utility kick in once we push towards T plus one. And right after that, we're going to push towards T plus zero real time payments. And that's going to even push crypto even more. These utility driven cryptocurrencies. We are getting there. And this is going to be a very big year for crypto. If XRP transaction fees are super low, what would make XRP move up in value? To the latest figures, the average transaction fee on the XRP ledger is a mere, well, way less than a penny. This means one can execute up to 5,000 transactions for just $1. That comes from Metaman X. And everybody's so focused on the transactions. That's not where the value is really going to come from. It's going to come from those massive liquidity pools that have XRP locked up inside of them. And as more and more XRP gets locked up, the demand is going to go higher and the price is going to go higher as well. Plus, XRP is going to be providing liquidity at the same time. This comes from XRP drops. Everything computes via tokens. Everyone transacts via tokens. 
Ripple's head of payments, marketing, Oliver Segovia, with a statement that might provide some insight into how Ripple plans to develop its business model and how XRP fits into the digital economy. Once tokenization starts, right? All of a sudden, you still got to move that value from point A to point B. Maybe it's in between two people, in between two businesses, in between two banks. It still has to move across borders as well. This is why there's going to be massive liquidity pools being set up all around the world. Some of it's going to be tied to moving money. Others, other liquidity pools are going to be tied to tokenized assets. I'm telling you, it's going to be an incredible time as we push ahead. Ripple partners with American Express and WorldPay to enable real-time cross-border payments, reduce transaction costs, and expand American Express merchant coverage in the UK through WorldPay's payment solutions. This comes from Mr. Mann. And like I've been telling you, the credit card companies, they want to fix the back end. That's where all the problems are. That's where Swift is involved and things are still way too slow. You know, things are taking still two and three days to finalize. Payments are taking two and three days and the fees are very high. We are moving into a time where everything's going to be fast, cheap and secure. You know, the credit card companies can offer so many great benefits if it wasn't for all the cost of payments. And that's coming as well. In a column for Pro SYN, Augustin Karstens argue the financial system is ready for a giant leap forward. This is coming from the BIS, the Finternet. And it looks like they're trying to fast track this now. They want to get this put in place as soon as possible. Like I kept telling you, everything is fast tracked ever since 2022. It started in 2021, but it really picked up momentum in 2022 and 2023. Now things are moving faster than ever before. And the BIS is pushing things. The IMF is pushing things. Even the central banks are pushing for CBDCs to go live now like never before. That's why I said 2024 is going to be an incredible year. Ron Hammond on the Blockchain Association on the deployment of American Blockchains Act. He's talking about how we're going to push ahead from here. Take a listen. Before we have the FIT bill uh, next week, we do have another bill that's on crypto. It's, uh, it's called the Deploying, Blo uh, Deploying Blockchain in America's Act. Uh, it's from Lisa Blunt Rochester, Democrat from, from uh, Delaware. We also have Larry Bouchon from Republican from Indiana. And again, this is not really in the financial services area. This is more just like blockchain, the tech side generally. And the idea is that when it comes to blockchain technology, the Department of Commerce is going to take more of a role here which is good. This is shows that, hey, look, this is not the, you know, anything that, that's a blockchain, like, you know, uh, there's that uh, famous example, Richie Torres says, if I put the Pokemon on a blockchain, is that Pokemon card a security? And this kind of solves a little bit of that question where it goes, you know what, if it's on blockchain matters generally, that's not even more financial services related, that's commerce. That's not your jurisdiction, SEC, please. So they're moving everything towards commerce and away from the SEC. And I like the idea of that. You know what's going on right now here in the United States? They are pushing for cri crypto re regulations like never before as well. They want to get this fast track. They want to get it out there this year. And that's what's going on. But they're fighting back against the anti-crypto army at the same time. And once we get regulations, it paves the way for institutional adoption. Take a listen to this less sterling track record but uh it's a hard argument to say a lot of the activity uh on these chains is like purely expression that's that's um uh protected under the first amendment i think you are going to see down the road the regulation of the development and use of certain software if software really becomes the new intermediator and the question is well who gets regulated under what conditions um DAOs obviously and and decentralized organizations open a big old can of worms but if it's a company making money off of software they maintain and that software is being used 
like that's a good starting place for and then the question becomes like well what does that regulatory framework look like for that type of software and i think it's dictated by the activity the software is performing and it doesn't have to look and but the point is whatever it is it's going to look entirely different in many respects than the current regulatory regime um but i i think that is probably where we're, we're ending up and i think uh you're also going to see i think the trend is towards the base protocols and the basic functioning of those base protocols being considered different en enough in kind where they are not subject to that regulation and i think that actually probably gets us to a pretty good place um and one which would engender i think broader participation by regulated entities like banks and financial institutions in the space, which is obviously going to be very important. So that's when we're going to start to see everything happen. The second regulations get put in place around crypto, mass adoption will begin right away because banks are eager to work with crypto. You know, big financial institutions, they're already interested in crypto. All they need is that path forward. And then everything will tra transition so quick. We will start to see these utility-driven cryptocurrencies take off so fast that if, if you're not invested, you are now left behind. Urgent update on Ripple versus SEC. So Ripple has taken significant step by submitting a motion to seal certain, certain documents related to the SEC motion for judgment and remedies. This move aims to protect sensitive information and maintain confidentiality through the legal proceedings. They want to make sure that the institutional investors that they're working with are kept anonymous because of the NDAs. Ripple moves to keep discounts offered on XRP to institutional buyers private. And those institutional buyers are definitely getting XRP at a discount right now. But what happens when the discounts end? All of a sudden, I think XRP is just going to take off one day because that time is definitely coming. Right now, they want to onboard everyone. They want to get all the rails put in place and they want to make sure that all the companies that they're working with are getting put, most likely getting their XRP at a discounted price so they could easily then transition to putting that XRP in those liquidity pools, but we're just not quite there yet. That could be what's going on in the background. Great update on Super PAC, of which Ripple is a member. They have raised more than $110 million so far this election cycle. The PAC joins a deep-pocketed deep effort from the crypto industry to put political candidates in office who are committed to supporting digital assets and blockchain technology. So it looks like Ripple and the rest of the crypto space is putting their money to, together to back certain politicians, crypto-friendly politicians. Like I've been saying ever since 2022, this next election, crypto is going to be talked about every single day on the mainstream media news. Because these pro-crypto candidates are going to keep bringing crypto up. And, you know, the anti-crypto army, it's so... They could only run on the crypto is only used for illicit activity for so long. They have to come up with a different narrative. Because when you look at crypto and you look at the technology behind crypto, that's innovation. And this country runs on innovation. Even people that don't understand crypto will still understand that we have to move, up, move forward with innovation in the United States. So I think there's going to be a lot of people that aren't even invested in crypto still voting for pro-crypto candidates. Wow, I, got, I had to get that out. And I think I kind of jumbled it up a little bit when I was saying it. But that's what we're pushing towards. And all of a sudden, we're going to have more and more people interested in crypto as well. A lot of new investors are going to be getting into crypto this election cycle. It's going to be an absolutely incredible time going forward is what I'm saying. But right now, when we're looking at XRP sitting just above 50 cents, it's hard to see where we're going from here. But it is going to happen. XRP is going to be one of those cryptocurrencies that just shocks the anybody that's not holding it. All the naysayers are going to be in shock and awe 
of what XRP is actually capable of as we start really amping up in price. And I think it's going to come throughout the, probably by the end of summer, early fall, we're going to start to really see the price of XRP pick up. And some of that can be based on actual utility. But until it happens, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.